In this video, we'll be going over changing a tire and inner tube on an Apollo Phantom. The tools you'll need are a battery drill. We're using a 7.2 volt battery drill, four millimeter bit, four and five millimeter Allen keys, and an 18 millimeter wrench. Now, when changing a tire or an inner tube, you wanna make sure to fold down the stem because this will ensure an even weight distribution when working to not make the scooter tip over either forward or backwards. Now, the first thing we'll want to do is remove these two screws here. So we'll take a five millimeter Allen key. This will prevent bending the brake disc when we're removing and putting the wheel back. We can then pull this up and let it hang. Before we do anything else, we want to deflate the tire of any excess air. We can remove the valve cap. I'm gonna take my Allen key and just push gently into the valve. That should do it. We can now take our 18 millimeter wrench, hold the fork stable to not flip the scooter over, and we can go up to remove the lug nut. We can then just gently pry the lock ring like this, and we'll repeat the process on the other side. We can now gently pull the wheel out. We can now remove our fender, put it to the side. We will now prop our wheel on our bench. On this side of the wheel, you have a little washer on the shaft. We can remove that for now. Then we'll take a four millimeter Allen key and unscrew our six center screws. We want to apply even pressure to not strip them. I'm now gonna take my drill and remove them completely. There we go. We can now remove our brake disc. We will now move on to our six rim screws same process started off with the four millimeter allen key even pressure to not strip the screws and do the rest with the drill we can now just take our wrench insert it in to the bottom and gently pull up and put this to the side for now we can now pull the tire off of our rim and we can gently let the rim hang below the scooter. We can then pull our old inner tube out like this and get a new one. Now, whenever we install a tire on the Phantom, we want to make sure we have a directional arrow going towards the front and because this is the way the tire is made you want to then take our new inner tube and make sure the valve comes out this way we can just insert the inner tube inside our tire now we can inflate the inner tube to fill out inside the tire We don't want to inflate the inner tube to 50 psi, we just want to make sure we clear the edge of the tire. We can now take our motor, insert the valve into the rim, there we go. We can place our rim back on. We want to make sure to align the holes of the rim with the bottom. We can now screw in our screws in a star pattern. If you don't feel comfortable using a drill as you're afraid of stripping the screws, you can always use the Allen key for the whole process. Because we flip the tire over, the directional arrow is now going clockwise, so we want to match the arrow on our brake disc the same way. So we'll flip it over just like it was before, replace it on, 
Make sure to apply Loctite on your screws before putting it back in. We now want to take our four millimeter Allen key, and make sure these are all tight. And again, we want to apply even pressure to not strip these screws. There we go. We can now replace our washer on the shaft. And now we're ready to put the wheel back on the forks. Now, before we put the wheel back on, we want to put the fender back on. So we'll just align this here and push it in. Now we can align our wheel with the fork. Now that the wheel is back in the grooves, we can take our lock ring, insert it here, do the same thing on the other side. This will at least make sure our wheel doesn't slip out. Now we can take our lug nut and screw it in. There we go. And then while holding the fork, we can finish the job. Now repeat the process on the other side. Same thing holding the fork. And the reason I hold the fork is to create counter pressure when I'm going up, I'm pushing down with this hand, or when I'm going down, I'm pulling up with this hand. If you have a little bit of slack here, you can always push your power cable back into the deck to make sure it is nice and tight. On all our tires, we have a rating for PSI. This one is 50, so let's get it filled up. We can now reinsert our caliper behind the bracket right here. We can start off both screws finger tight and take our five millimeter Allen key and finish them off. We can now tighten them all the way. Now you should be all good to go. And that's how you change an inner tube or tire on the Apollo Phantom.